there is chatter about dead children. Is there anything about this in the history, Amju asks. Something that can tell us how to proceed. Someone else asks, Vasha? Historian Vasha, honored one. We hear them call us, our name ringing out through the water, but we are too entranced in a remembering to respond. One made by the third historian. The history troubled her so deeply that she did not believe it. She thought it was a trick of the ancestors, a test she had to pass. The third historian wondered if a woman called Zoti really had seen bodies cast overboard into the sea left to drown. When she went upward to see if it was true, she was snagged by a hook and lifted onto a boat deck. She tried to heave in oxygen through her mouth and nose, but she didn't know how. Suffocating, she half passed out. The two legs, they were real, tried to grab and handle her. But she was more awake than they thought, and she bit every one of their throats until they died. She flopped and crawled to the boat edge, using her front fins to pull herself forward. With one powerful but painful thwack of her tail fin, she was back in the sea, having cleared the short wall. She did not see the supposed surface dwellers who abandoned bodies of their own kind like an emptied-out clamshell. But she had no trouble believing the two legs were capable of it after seeing them in the flesh. She did not see the supposed surface dwellers who abandoned bodies of their own kind like an emptied out clamshell, but she had no trouble believing the two legs were capable of it after seeing them in the flesh. This truth, that two legs were cruel and unusual, was the most important lesson of the history, and the third historian vowed to protect her people from them. <laughs>